Hello everybody, welcome. It's been a long time since I've been here. Um, I, I had to get a map to find out my way to the studio because it's been so long. It hasn't really. But lovely to see everybody today. We have a fantastic craft along for you. My name is Becky Swan and I am going to be joined by the lovely Debbie Robinson. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one, Becky. Oh. Really looking forward. I love craft along. I've often said it's my favourite show and I'm absolutely super excited about this one uh, with the corner edibles. So Ooh. these are gorgeous. You'll have already seen the launch and let me tell you now there will have been some amazing demos absolutely beautiful demos on there but this is my take on them so we're going to be using um, one of those beautiful color eligibles just in a slightly different way to what you've already previously seen um, and this is your craft along project that we've got Gorgeous. to do in an hour <clears throat> we'll go through the menu in a second of what you need um, but yes uh, Becky I think I might have stretched myself a little bit there we'll try our very best to get this done in that hour oh absolutely and I do love the fact that you've not used your with love um de die on that oh you <laughs> it's just there hiding away inside <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a day with you where you haven't used that dye. But you know what? It's made me want to buy all of those dyes anyway. There you because, go, you, you see. Know, exactly. Very <laughs> usable. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Debbie's going to be making and showing us all of the details um, on these corner edibles. Um, now, have you got the little list for the, uh, the craft along? Do you want to read it out, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. We should have uh, all the... Well, I call it, I've got a new name for it. I call it the menu. Yeah, it The is. menu of all the ingredients yeah. you need for the craft along yeah. show. So here, here's all the thing that you're going to need now if you've got um, all of them you can choose whichever one but I've chosen the floral bouquet edible dye uh, the mini dyes I've gone with a special friend and of course the with love dye that we uh, <laughs> all know I love very much uh, Troy blend pens um, also the soft ever duet ink pad I've also snuck another one in here as well which is one of the water reactive ones uh, but I'll, I'll tell you as we go along botanic garden one of my favorite paper pads 12 by 12 the lilac centura pearl cardstock multi-purpose cardstock and your matte black cardstock and the additional elements that you're going to need are all the tools that you need to create this card with so we've got the gemini 2 die cutting machine the large guillotine score master or the big score whichever one you've got uh, a pair of scissors pokey tool um, i've gone with a fine spray mister because we're going to do a little bit of a water technique with the ink pads Ooh. also the all-purpose glue tacky glue and foam pads everything you need i think the one thing that's missing off there is the dotty tape and that's always a good one to have as yep. well uh, but that's everything you need to get yourself crafting along to make this project uh, with me right now fantastic oh we're definitely looking forward to that um, so to let you know these are the corner edibles we've got a nine piece set that you've got here um, lots of different kinds of designs here but obviously buying them in the, the big group um, is always going to be the best deal so I'll go through them individually on the board so you can actually see exactly what you're going to be getting in there the first one is your off to the ball um, beautiful dress I mean it's so good for um, people turning 16 15 uh, um, in Spanish in Spanish sort of um, societies, well, turning 15 is when you become a true woman, isn't it? Oh, um, yeah. These big, you know, so yeah. yeah, have these super sweet 16 kind of parties when you're 16, um, but 15 is the time. It, but I think it's just beautiful proms, um, anniversaries. It's such a lovely design that you've got there. The next one is that peacock. It's the elegant peacock. Is there anything other than the elegant peacock? Do you know my, <laughs> um, my, my son-in-law, my daughter's boyfriend said to me, if you could have any kind of tail, what tail would it be? And I said, a peacock tail. And he went, I should have just guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> um, this next one is your lovely daisies. Really beautiful, um, that one there. And I think one of the samples you've got over there, you've done some paper piecing in that. It looks gorgeous. This next one is a fairy tale rose. This one is your... Upside down. Upside down. <laughs> there's, there's always one in there just to get you, isn't there? This is your delightful peonies. Next one here is your floral, flora bouquet. This one is your entangled butterflies. That's really pretty as well. Mm. Then we have your lovely hearts, which I think might be my favourite. And this final one over here is your Into the Woods. So the price for all nine is £80 or $99. The platinum price is just £64 or $79.20. Right, we should get started with the craft along because we don't have long. And Debbie, you've got a lot of things to show us on this craft I along. I have indeed and a lot to get through. So I think the first main thing we're going to do is cut all the panels and the base card and the mats and the layers, get all that out of the way, and then we'll start using the dies to create those lovely uh, pieces. Right, so first things first, the size of this card, I've gone big. Because 
these are a really nice big edge ball and I've used it slightly different in the terms of using it as an edge ball um, so we're going to make a card base that's eight by eight out of a four card stock okay so if you've got a three you could make it straight from there however I know not everybody has that so we're going to take some multi-purpose card stock and we're going to cut this down to first piece eight by eight so the first panel will be eight by eight yeah again whenever you're using your guillotine make sure it's up to the very top so it's lined up all the way across and make sure that that part piece is as well and then up to that first line before the score line because that's your true eight by eight size on um, our guillotines because obviously our guillotines are a guillotine and a scoreboard wrapped into one mm -hmm. so that's your first part of your panel but then we need another one so we're going to make this one to nine by eight so okay. uh, this is why you can make all your card bases from multi-purpose cardstock and other cardstock that we have in your collections um, so that's going to be nine by eight and we're going to put some score lines into here as well however first things first we'll get all the smaller inner panels so if i just bring these in to show you what i mean we're going to make all of these panels as well at the same time get all these mats and layers out of the way so that we can concentrate on the main part of the craft along so the other pieces that we're going to need now i'll just swiftly bring these in because we're going oh, to have beautiful color isn't it beautiful, yeah. the Centura Pearl? It's absolutely gorgeous. And I, f I felt like it matched some softer tones in that botanic garden mm -hmm. rather than using the pearl paper pad. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt, I felt like changing it up a little bit. Um, now, for the mats and layers, if you think about your base being eight by eight, yep. you're going to come down a quarter of an inch. Yep. So for your first panel, it's going to be a seven and three quarters square. Now, at this stage as well, you can also extract your inside. So you can take out the middles so that you're not wasting all of your cardstock and you could pre-use that for another panel, which I'll show you in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, then we're going to need a panel for the front. Now, I didn't put one on the inside. I've kept it white. So it's just the panel on the front. Um, and that, of course, we know is uh, or will be half of the um, style of the card because it's a fold back. Um, so we're going to take that to the four inch mark as in the terms of the fold. So the, the panel itself, and I wonder if I can get it out of this one, Becky. Let's have a little peek. Oh, I can. Ooh, We're gonna go good. to three and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So that's the first part of the panel. So that'll be in the base and that'll be on the fold back. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna need um, some white pieces. So I know actually that one I think will work. So I'm using, do you know the spare bits that you've seen me chopping off at yep. the side? I'm using these pieces. Very satisfying when you're in Very end, satisfying. End so I want a white piece to sit into there. So we know that the, that first piece of the lilac cardstock, oh, it's got stuck, it's want to move, um, <laughs> was three and three quarters. So I'm going to come down another quarter, which is three and a half. Mm -hmm. And again, if you think about from the eight being the main base card and we've to the panel to seven three quarters yep. we're going to come to seven and a half for this piece so let me just come in there and then literally that sits into that piece as well lovely but i also need a white piece for this one and the reason i've done it this way with multiple mats and layers is just because um extra rigidity a yep. little bit of extra framing because i've got such a busy pattern paper if you're not using a pattern paper you wouldn't have to use as many layers as i'm right. doing now the next piece that we're going to come down to is to fit inside here so we know that that's a seven and three quarter inch square so we're just going to come to seven and a half so it's going to be seven and a half by seven and a half if I can get my paper to move, I feel like I've got a sticky guillotine today. Nothing's wanting to move. But you'll see that fits into there beautifully as well. So you've got your two panels there. The front panels. So if I just bring this in, you've got your card base. You've got your panels for inside here, mm -hmm. apart from the pattern cardstock. So I think we'll cut that first, Becky, as well. And we'll get yep. all those pieces done. I've chosen the Botanic Garden. Surprise, surprise, it's purple because Look I absolutely love the it's colour. It's so beautiful. Um, it's just a beautiful yeah. pattern. And you know, it doesn't matter which side you use, yeah. Becky, I think they're be both beautiful. Um, so we're going to come down. So we know that those first two pieces are covered with the eight, the seven and three quarters and seven and a half. So we're going to come in at seven and a quarter for this panel piece. And this is going to be that main piece in the centre. So seven and a quarter. And I'll show you how they all fit in within each other so you can see those measurements fit perfectly together and all go into, like, give it a really nice framing. And I think because I got a bit of white, that's why I wanted that bit of white mm. to make it pop. I'll show you for a second. 
a little bit lost. Yeah. But when you put that bit of white behind it, it makes it pop. So that's why I've chosen to do that one. Mm -hmm. And then with these two panels, and I think... <laughs> Just oh. very satisfying, Becky. Yeah, it's very it satisfying. <laughs> so we know the white is for the purple is three and three quarters. The um, uh, other white one is three and a half. So this is three and a quarter. Again, by seven and a quarter. And I know that's the per perfect fit because we've just cut it from that other one. So that sits into there. So that's your mats and layers done for the card. And you've got your card base. Mm. However, we've also got a front panel that sits on the front of the fold back and an inside panel. So we're going to measure those as well. Okay. I had to write these down, Becky, because I could remember the main parts, but I couldn't remember the inside parts. <laughs> so <coughs> you ought to see me just before we came to air. I'm like, oh no, I've forgotten <laughs> my sizes again. You were doing very complicated maths, weren't you? <laughs> Trying, yeah. and, you know, and I'm not very good with, I've told you before, I'm not very good with maths or any kind of numbers. Give me something creative. I'm absolutely mm -hmm. in the element. Uh, right, so these panels are going to measure at five and a half inches first of all and you want two of these by six and a half so we want two of those pieces and I say you could be more frugal because you could cut out some of your centre panels of the uh, mats and layers as well if you want to make the most of your cardstock uh, but for speed and for time I'm just going to keep them all solid today um, so two panels that measure five and a half by six and a half. Mm -hmm. You only want a bit of white again, so we're going to use another sheet of white cardstock to make that um, piece pop. Um, so we're going to come in at five and a quarter. You can see where I'm going with these. Everything comes down in a quarter of an inch when I'm matting and layering. Um, so five and a quarter by six and a quarter. And you want that twice as well. So we've got two pieces for that front panel and the um, outside panel so five and a quarter by six and a quarter and then lastly so if i put those two there so i know where everything is and i know how everything fits together we need some die cut piece so that center panel and i know you can't see it very much because of the edgeable factor but there is another panel in there oh, okay and the yeah. same with this one as well so right. we're going to come down one more piece and that's going to be five by six and times that by two okay. so and i'm going to keep all of these pieces once i've die cut, when i've cut them sorry i'm going to keep them all separate so i'm not getting confused where anything is so we've got five by six times that by the two I'll just move that out of the way five by six and another one at five by six and that's all and I believe that's all of the panels cut for now so okay. the only thing we're going to do now and I'm just going to move all these bits out of the way don't throw any of those bits because some of them are going to come in handy for some other things in a moment um, but I'm just going to separate so you've got two pieces of uh, cardstock that's five by six mm -hmm. you have two purple and two white that measure um, so this one here is five and a quarter by six and a quarter this one is five and a half by six and a half mm -hmm. and times that by two that's your mats and layers You've got all of these panels as well. So you've got your, um, th if I remember rightly, three and three, qu uh, three and three quarter by seven and three quarter, three and a half by seven, uh, seven and a half. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to remember it off every <laughs> going like this down here to measure them. And come down a quarter of an inch for that one as well. And the same with this. So we know that the first base of the card is eight by eight. So that's seven and three quarter square. That's a seven and a half inch square. That's a seven and quarter square yeah. um, so all of them should make sense and when you see them come together they will totally make sense which sounds really complicated but it really isn't it's just getting all your mats and layers which I'm just laying down in front of me so I know where everything is and there will be another sheet of cardstock that we're using for what we call a drop shadow which will be our matte black okay but first of all we need to put this card base together so I've got an eight by eight piece I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. It's this one that I need to put the score lines in. So you can see that this longer edge is nine by eight. And this is where we're going to put our score lines in. So I'm going to okay. ask you to bring your scoreboards out and score at... Oh, God, trust me to have got the big score. I couldn't find a little one, so I'm going, to, I'm going to use the big score. But it's poking me right in the room. Most oh. uncomfortable <laughs> place as it is. Um, but 
right. Uh, first of all, we're going to put the inch mark in because that's the bit that's going to create. Um, if you remember, this is nine by eight. So that now technically is an eight by eight square. Yeah. So when you look at that. Now, we're wanting to get the center point for the fold back. So if you just make sure now, and I always do it this way, to try and stop myself confusing myself. Yeah. I have to keep things really simple, Becky, in my life. Um, one, two, three, four. So you're going to score at five inch. And it sounds bizarre, but that is actually the halfway mark. Yeah. Because if it had been eight by eight, it would have been. But just because, so, and again, speaking from experience, Becky. <laughs> You don't want to do a Debbie on this stage because uh, I've done it myself many a time. Um, but this piece is going to fold back and you're going to score. And this piece is going to fold under because okay. that's the bit that is going to connect itself to the 8x8 eight eight base to create the fold back card. Fabulous. And that is, so all we're going to do, your choice of glue, tape pen, red liner tape, whichever tape you want to use. I'm going to use our super strong double-sided adhesive. I am going to put a few lines on there because I want to make sure it sticks, sticks. Um, but all you're going to do is literally tuck it behind. So if I bring that now, that eight piece, uh, the eight by eight on top, take it to the fold and push that right up to the fold. Keep it nice and flush at both top and bottom. Fold that over, give it that little heat with your fingers to make that glue um, really sticky and then just burnish again and you've got your fold back card and now ready for all the mats and layers to stick into place because you've cut those out. The only ones you're not going to stick down, if you're at that stage you're going to be sticking all of those pieces down and to be fair you could turn it over if you find that too busy mm -hmm. you could turn it over but we'll decide what we're going to do in a second with that when we uh, when we come to all the sticking so i'm going to put those in front i've got all my little pieces there i just need a second just to clear up my little mess at the okay. side and then we're going to start with the die cutting and that will be on your two pieces of your um, five by, oh, sorry, one of the pieces, not two, one of the pieces at five by six. So okay. we'll just push that to one side for the time being because that's the piece that we're going to cut in using that beautiful, and I keep calling it the floral bouquet, it's the flora bouquet, or your chosen one because you might yeah. have got them and you could choose which one you want to use. Fantastic. And these really are beautiful sets of corner edibles and you can see how versatile they are. Debbie's got some samples um, just to the side of her, so you'll probably see those during the shots anyway. But um, really beautiful collection that you've got here. So nine all together. Um, go through the boards again so you can see them. Um, this first one here is one I can't move. Hold on a minute. There you go. Uh, this is off to the ball. Um, now, Nicola and I were talking in the break about Bridgerton, because Bridgerton's coming up soon, and we're getting quite inspired. We want to dress up in Bridgerton dresses for Bridgerton when it comes out. <laughs> this next one is your elegant peacock, which is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's going to look really beautiful um, as um, sort of all of these are going to lend themselves to some paper piecing, aren't they? Really nice selection. This one is your daisies. These are your lovely daisies. Um, again, very pretty, pretty, very usable. And that's the thing with all of these. You can use them for all different occasions. This next one is your fairy tale rose. This one is your beautiful peonies. Who doesn't love a peony? Come out quite soon, don't they? I like a peony. Next one is your floral, sorry, I keep saying it floral, flora bouquet. It runs off your tongue saying floral, doesn't it? This next one is your entangled butterflies. And then we have the beautiful love hearts, these are your lovely hearts. And the finally, we have Into the Woods with that beautiful tree there. Again, we're going to work really well for all times of the year. This whole collection is £80 or $99. Platinum price is £64 or $79.20. Um, Definitely worth grabbing hold of so you can carry on with this craft along. Right, Debbie, carry on. Yes, I think we'll carry yeah. on. Yes, so we're going to do the die cutting now with my favourites. Do you know, it was really hard to choose which one to, mm. to use. Um, and I did take some inspiration from all the lovely uh, samples that I saw in the marketing suite. And I thought, oh, yeah, I really like that. Um, so I took my inspiration from there. However, oh, the choice of actually choosing which mm. one I wanted to go with, because I was so tempted. To, I'm not going to lie. So tempted. So close. Yeah. Butterflies. Yeah. Nearly. But I thought, come on, Debbie, come away from your step. Come away. Step out your comfort zone. Um, yeah. But yeah, this, honestly, you could use any one of these with this style of card. Um, but I have used the Flora Bouquet. And it is beautiful. Now, the start of the, why they're called the edibles, and it's, we always explain this for anybody who's new to um, our edibles. If I just bring in my pokey tool. Um, what you have here is the outside edge cutting line. 
that runs on this side, on the left-hand side, as you've got it flat with the die facing upwards, um, with the cutting part. This edge, the right-hand side, doesn't. So it stays connected into your cardstock. I mean, there's loads of cutting points on there as well. Perfect for paper piecing, colouring, adding some acetate behind the back, using them as shape. There's all sorts of different ways mm. that you can use them. Um, but that's how an edgeable starts. Now, with these, because they're a corner piece, a normal edgeable would be a, like a straight up and down where you would have a starting point and a bot bottom point. Yeah. But they're on the corner, so they face on the corner of your cardstock. And that's why you have a cutting point there and a cutting point there, so that when you're facing it down, you can see you're taking it into the corner and it creates that slant, right. which okay. is yeah. just beautiful. Now, today I'm not using it like that, but I know Sarah, um, beautiful um, examples during the launch. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's lots of inspiration on there for you to take from Sarah's uh, beautiful makes as well. But I'm just using it in a slightly different way. Um, and that's just use it as a panel. We're gonna color in with it as well. So low tack tape, it's in the corner of that five by six panel and we're gonna run it through. Now it is a, a, what I call a, a detailed die. So you're gonna pop your plastic shim, magnetic shim and your other cutting plate onto the top and we are going to pop that through there. So literally super easy, one pass of the machine and it's all done for you. If you find that you just need to cut it again, depending on the material that you're cutting into, yeah. um, you might need to add your, so if you're cutting into glitter cardstock, you probably need to add something like your um, metal shim. Um, however, <clears throat> that has cut beautifully. And if I just peel that back, and the reason I've popped my tape on both sides is if that you do have, you know, I've said this before, um, and I've done it many times. If you have anything like a rip or a tear from your um, low tack tape becoming quite highly tacky mm. during the process of running through the machine, uh, probably onto the outside doesn't matter because you're not going to see that bit. Um, so, and this is where you need to be a little bit more delicate. These are very, very detailed dies. So I always get my hand behind the back and I just tease, and Debbie, tease, tease. Do you know what I'm like? I'm, I'm going to be gentle with it. Ch you, sound gen like, you sound like that um, song with Chakadimus and Pliers. Tease me, tease me, tease me. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I only know what I'm like now because I'm so heavy handed. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get a little helping hand and give it a little tap as well at the same point. Now, your scissors, let me just make sure. Did I get my scissors out despite me putting it on my list? Debbie Robinson, what are you like? I didn't, uh, but we're going to cut away that edge, where the edge were. Now, if you were measuring these, these dies are quite a nice size. This particular one is just over four inches uh, by uh, 5.6 inches. So it's a really nice, sizable die there. And I've just released it from the cardstock. So I'm just going to get my pokey tool and poke out the couple of little pieces that didn't quite fall out. Okay. And we're going to do some colouring on that in a second, not just yet, because we've got a few more die cuts to make as well. So Can you that's... use these dies for, like, shaker cards? Would oh, they absolutely. Work? You'd put some acetate on the back. Yeah. And you'd be able to use it that way if you wanted to. Personally, myself, I just love the corner design. Mm. I think there's something that little bit different without having it on the corner. Yeah. And you can see, if I just lift that off, how that sits beautifully into that corner yeah. piece. However, we're going, like I said, we're going to use it slightly differently. That's going to be the main panel that sits in one of these segments. But at the minute, a bit of white on white, mm -hmm. not quite what I'm after. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to that in a second. And I think, do you always see one? You think you've poked everything out, Becky, and then you see another one. Yeah. However, Sweetie. I did say we were going to do some more die cutting. So I've got the die again. And I'm wanting to add, so if I just explain what I did here was, um, and I, you could use it as a stencil, mm. but I actually use it a die cut piece over the top of um, some inky background. So I want two more of those florals. So I'm going to run this through okay. on a little bit of spare, and I am going to bring in my black, black piece now. So um, just because, and I'll just quickly cut this out, I want to create a couple of extra, like, floral pieces now with the black one i want it to be a full piece with the white i only want the flowers okay. so i'm going to be able to get what i need from one piece there into two because i only want to create that as a little backdrop for the corner pieces so i'm going to run this through twice again becky okay. so and don't worry about it being on the plate again it's only going to be a little feature that we're going to be using would they fit through your midi so midi, yes. Yep. Mini, no. Midi, right. yes. Midi, yep. no. Uh, mini, no. Yeah. And uh, 
if you think about a midi or a junior platform it's nine by six right so as long as your panel and the corner isn't, isn't doesn't exceed that you'll yep. be absolutely fine to go okay. through there yeah definitely good to know yeah well i'm using my junior plate so you can see but I've, obviously i've got my large machine let me give it a little tap so let's just take that out again tease debbie tease <laughs> I'm going to have my head. It's going to be in my head all day now. Tease me, tease me, tease me, tease me, baby. Do you know, the worrying thing is, I think yes. um, it's only us in the studio that are going to remember that song. Well, it's I falling on deathly silence in the gallery. Uh -huh. yeah. And I feel like they're too young. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Oh, so, so Sam, Sam may know. Sam to very what kind of music? Odd music? Are you saying our taste in music is odd? Is who's biggest fan? <laughs> Sam, Sam likes our kind of music, but Debbie and I are big Prodigy fans. Oh, I love yeah. a bit of Prodigy, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Very sad day when he passed. Oh, awful. Very sad day, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, did you see the concert that they did where they brought him, not back to life, but brought him back in a holographic um, oh, no, version? Oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, they, Becky, you need to check it out. They do things like that, don't they? You need to check it out. It looks amazing. It's like mm. lights that they um, beamed in over the stage. So they, like, flashed them all down and it were his outline. Wow. You, you knew it were him. Yeah. Uh, and then over the track. Oh, yeah. it was just brilliant. And on Firestarter. So oh. just absolutely brilliant. Just brilliant. Which I do love a bit of that. I often talk about this and just talk about it, but when I want to, you know, when I've had um, a day where I need a bit of upbeat music, yeah. um, they go on. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, my favourite song at the moment, and I, what happens is I like a song and I have to listen to it again and again and again on repeat, um, is um, uh, Natasha Bedingfield, Unwritten. Oh, because, yeah. Because there's a film with that song in it. Yes. And I also went, oh, you have to watch it. It's really good. And I was like, oh, it's going to be rubbish. I'm not interested in a rom-com. But, my God, it was so good. It was a brilliant film. And that, that, that song's in it. And they're all singing in it at the end, which is quite nice. So that she's, is pretty much what I listened to in the whole five hours that I drove up. She's um, had a bit of a comeback, hasn't she, at the moment? Has she? Yeah, she's, she's, she's all been all over the socials. Time. She doesn't look any different really? from Sorry. 20 years ago can i just tell you <laughs> how 20 years have passed and she looks absolutely no different is beyond me it really is she looks amazing uh but yeah she's um because of that because that song yeah we'll come back in one of the films um she's had a little bit of a re is it resurgence they yeah. call it yeah. um yeah so it's lovely and i do love natasha she's got a fantastic yeah. voice um, and a brother has. I love Daniel Bedingfield yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So, yeah. again, do the guys in our ears know what we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, you do? That's okay, then. They, they, they remember it from when they were five or something like I that. I was going to say, <laughs> I mean, mine would remember because I played them non-stop. And you know the Daniel Bedingfield one? You're not the one. Do, 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 do. Yes, that beautiful yeah. Oh, my God, I love yeah. that one. And he was very good. He was very good. Oh. Very good, yeah. Absolutely. Happy days. Music always makes you feel better, doesn't it? Music's my life. I love music. It's got to be in my life at some point. I absolutely adore music. At my um, son's school, they used to start every day with a song because they said singing makes you feel happy. Yeah. And I think it's very true. You know, yeah. if you can belt out a bit of a show tune in the traffic, um, it doesn't really matter that you're sitting in a tailback that's going to take you another four hours to get home. <laughs> um, you can you know, sing away. Um, I often think what people would think of me if they saw me in the car. <laughs> Well, I think I'm uh, silly uh, off to London, but <laughs> as I'm driving down with all the stuff, and I'm singing my head off, but I can just imagine what it looks yeah. like. I think one of these days I'm going to be across the socials where someone's took a <laughs> film of me because I, I, I feel like I'm on stage in the O2 Arena or something like that when I when I get going. <laughs> uh, Got to have a little sing song in your life, absolutely. haven't you? Yeah, you have. Yeah. Now, Debbie, be careful. What did you just say? Don't treat it like. Right, I'm going to get a little tap again, Becky. I want you to remember these are very filigree dies. So when you're taking it out, don't do a Debbie. Don't pull it off like a Band-Aid. Tease me, tease me. <laughs> Think of that song in your head now. <laughs> Not like quite literally tease me, but you know what I mean. Tease it out of that die. Uh, get your pokey tools behind it as well. Do you know, really? I mean, really, I should be poking it out. And there is always a release hole in, a di in, one, of, you know, in one of our dies. It's just finding it. So I'm just going to get that out, Becky. And then I think I've got all my die cut pieces apart from my sentiment. Um, so again, just, just be careful because I think I have. Yeah, there we go. Got that out. And I'm going to just release that because this is going to be a drop shadow part. Okay. So I'm not too worried about where I release it from. And then I'm going to come in and just 
take out those pieces that haven't and Debbie did do a little tear there but it's going to be all right because this is just going to be at the back part of the card so again give that a little piece it's going to sit behind the back I mean you don't have to do the drop shadow if you don't want to do the drop shadow but I feel like it will really really lift it when we do however not doing that just yet because we're bringing back in that panel on that piece because that's the floral die cuts out of the way okay and what we're going to do is we're going to do a spot of coloring now I'm going to bring in so I can you can see what I'm doing and I said you try blend brushes or try blend pens whichever one you want to go with uh, because of the time of this i am going to use my brushes so that we can lay down quite a little bit of color yes. and the two colors i've used are light green and purple uh, but you can use any colors you want for this so i'm going to start with the light green and we're going to go around just it's just lifting the design and it's taken it from being um, a little bit of a flat image mm -hmm. into a little bit of a pretty colored image shall we call yeah. it um, and I'm going to just go around. I've got the lightest colour here. Now, oh, if you want to do it, you can. Do you know where we talk about when you add a bit of dimension and yeah. you want to add a little bit of extra uh, to it? You can do that if you want to do that. Um, there's no right or wrong with this. I'm just giving it a little flick. And it's just an outline around where the die cut piece is. Mm -hmm. So I'm not being too precious about this. It's just going to give it that little lift. Um, and you're going to look at it where your stem would be, where your leaves would be, so you can see. Um, and the design's quite, it's quite um, easy to see. Yeah. It's not one of those that you're thinking, I've absolutely no idea what's a leaf and what's not. <laughs> um, you can see, oops, Debbie, that's the flower. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because sometimes the edges of the flowers are green. Yeah, yeah. And again, just, you know, Becky, just choose a colour. Don't, don't be too precious don't yeah. be too particular with this this isn't a coloring project this is just to outline if you want to take that extra color and give it that little bit of an extra lift by all means do so um now we've only got an hour today yeah. so i'm not going to do that i am going to just use it as an outline with one color and then again and because you've got the drop shadow behind it as well um you won't really need to be too like I said, too precious about it. Um, and then again, just follow all those leaves. Could around. you use um, ink pads and the little daubers? You can, absolutely. Yeah, if you don't want to colour, do that, Becky. That yeah. is a good shout out because you really don't need to go to that length if you don't want to. I like it, Becky. I like it. Yes. Uh, now, the other colour that I've used is the purple. Again, choose whichever colour you want, whether in terms of the, uh, the colour. I think I'm going to use a bit of both on this. So I'm going to go over with the lightest tone um, and I'm just going to go into all the areas where you think the um, flower would be. This is when you paper piece in option, though, if you want to do the mm. paper piece in, pop a bit of acetate behind there and paper piece it. Now, because I only had an hour for this craft along, um, it wasn't doable. No, it really wasn't doable. So because it takes a lot longer, you need a little bit of patience with paper piecing. Yeah. If you've got the um, hold and release sheets that we had out last year, mm -hmm. then it makes it a little bit easier because yeah. you just run it through again, and then you can lift those pieces out. However, time was um, of the essence. Yes, with this project. Yeah. And I did think when I finished it, I was like, Debbie, you're dafty. I think it's more than an hour. How are we doing for time, guys? Bad. Are we doing okay? All right. So how? So could you give me that in my terms? Oh, that's fine. Look, yeah, look how slowly plenty. you're colouring in now. Now you know you've got plenty of time. <laughs> oh, just like slow, slow right down there. <laughs> No, I'm just, you know what I did, Becky? I just had a little look and thought, what have I missed? Because I know I've missed something there. And I was looking at it to think, yes, um, yeah, yeah, that's okay. So I think I can afford to go on and just add a little bit of um, extra in there. So I'm going to pop a little bit of, and like I said, this isn't a culling project. You do not have to be precious with it. Mm -hmm. um, you can just, and again, pop a bit of dark card behind you <laughs> so it makes it easier. Yeah. If you've got light card, it becomes a bit clumsy because all you see is colour and you can't see where anything yeah. is. So if you pop a bit of dark card behind you, you can actually see the areas that you might have missed or because um, I can go back in now and add a little bit more where I think, and it's not because you've told me I've got extra time. <laughs> It's because I can see and I've got that um, time to be able to go back over 
And again, you can do this with your, I mean, I'm using a brush pen, but you can use your um, other ones as well. So your regular tri brains, it really doesn't matter. The only thing I've missed there is the little, I'm going to call it the little purple wrap around middle. Oh yeah, we'll have that darker one in the middle while I'm going and just go around. I quite like things that are sort of coloured loosely. Yeah. It gives it a bit more movement. But look how it? quick that was to mm. do that. And yeah. it looks really effective, especially when you drop that onto a bit of black. It mm. looks absolutely beautiful. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to do, and you could use, so you could use one of those die-cut elements, and I could use that as a stencil and go through with ink. However, <laughs> time was a bit... Um, of the essence again with this yeah. so we're going to go in now you can use and i did use a couple of colors here and i mixed up uh, the duet ink pad with um, our water reactive one but i forgot to put that down on my list that's my fault you can use whatever ink pad to be fair whatever ink pad gives a bit of blending you can absolutely use whichever one you want and the same with your applicators but i'm just going to put a little bit of purple into this corner yep. so that when we pop this on it lifts and it gives right. it a lift although to be fair the white on white looks quite nice it looks embossed mm. so if you don't want to do this next stage that's absolutely fine but i'm going to go in and just dust a little bit of color and i only want to dust it slightly but i did use a couple of tones and to show you why you can mix your ink pads even though they're not from the armory range the duet ink pads mm. they're still a reactive hybrid water-based ink so they're okay. going to work okay um and again with what i'm away to do in a second you'll you'll get what i mean by that so i'm going to just pop on and again i'm just going to come in and i quite like the two-tone purple there yeah, but i am going nice. to use the crushed velvet to go around the edges just to soften that white up as well so um we call it a tickling yeah. A tickle, well, I call it a tickling. Perhaps tickling we don't call it that. Today oh, doing, no, tickling and teasing today. Tickling and teasing. I bet you didn't take snack that on this craft along. <laughs> 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 but yeah i like the two tone of the two colors and the two purple there and yeah. um, so that looks really effective just going to check where i'm popping my piece because um i am going to have a, um, a sentiment coming across here as well uh, but i think i'm just going to tease it that little bit more just a bit further up there we go yeah i'm quite i'm quite happy with that one and I think that looks really effective. So I'm just going to pause there for a second and bring in the other five by six piece. But we're not die cutting into this. If you want to, yeah. you can do. Yeah. But this is going to be in that middle section. So what I'm going to do here is, again, I'm going to use the two. So this is the five by six piece. But this is going to be that inner panel that sits on the inside of your fold back card with your other sentiment in there. Okay. Or your space to write. If you want to, you know, if you want to write a message, then keep Keep this clean really so that you can add your sentiment into there but again I'm just coming in and I'm going to mix the two up together again just because you can and it is really effective it just looks I love the t I love the two colors together and I love having a play with inks and having um soft softening the white it's well, not a star it's really nice that you're showing two different use of two different um, ink pads because I think you know we get a bit scared and people just think well, I can only use these ones on this project yeah to be able to see that you know you can mix and match them absolutely um, like a different dimension to it definitely absolutely it goes like a warm and a, cut, a darker tone mm. between the two because i've chose two different purples there and um, the 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 duet is more chalkier looking it's got a lovely mm. finish to it but then the water reactive i still love as well and i, I do genuinely mean it. i love the water reactive ones um, and then what we're just going to do with that is and i've just kept it nice and soft in the middle um but it just softens it instead of it being really harsh and quite strong it's now softened it mm -hmm. but we're going to bring in a bit of water and i'm going to do a little bit of faux bleaching around there these are water reactive but don't forget the duet ink pad still reacts to water because it's got the hybrid ink in there so it still reacts splash a little bit i think i might put a little bit on this one i didn't do on the original one but i think i will do let's uh, just add a little bit into there why not pop those side by side uh, let that water soak in just for a, a moment or two so that you can grab hold of a tissue because yeah. that's all you need a bit of ki kitchen roll or a bit of tissue uh, look at this now this is because i've got a bit of mixture of water reactive with the hybrid ink um, but you can see that lifting really quickly yeah. and that's the difference between the hybrid to the water reactive they both react the same way in terms of like the, with water but one reacts quicker 
And again, oh my God, oh, I love that. Really good. Yeah, it just looks really lovely. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces. So those two white pieces that we cut, we're going to take and we're going to use and just make sure you've got all, I think all of the white. Yeah, there we go. Um, all I'm going to do now, now personally, oops, Debbie, wait a minute, bit of housekeeping. Clean your mess because it's going to go all over your card if you don't. And this is what I didn't do yesterday. So if you saw my sample card, oops, <laughs> it's got a little, it's got a little bit of uh, purple um, in places we don't want the purple. It's the same with the fingers. Clean your fingers down as well because mm -hmm. I forget that sometimes. Uh, but you can use uh, your dotty tape pen because I've just proven to myself I'm very heavy-handed this morning. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm going to go in with um, a little bit. And uh, do you know what? I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand here. And I'll Aww, give it a shake. I, I remember. I remember doing that. Do you? Do, you do the days yeah, just to days do, dot it on you can there. Get a dotty tape pen. Dotty tape pen's yeah. the best yeah. thing. I'm not going to lie. I am going to still pop a little bit on, but I'm just going to do it in little places. But um, I'm so clumsy with glue as well because do you know, like some people go. Dee, 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 dee. I'm not like that. Do you know where they do it really nice and neatly? Uh, that's not a Debbie. Yeah, but you're also speed crafting today, aren't you? Well, yeah, I am. Do you know the other thing you could do, though, Becky, as well? Now, if I get the bigger glue, let me just grab in. Um, oh, always remember, when you've not used it for a while, give it a little bit of a shake. Okay. There is a small water content in there, so you do need to give it a little bit of a, um, a shake up. But just add a little bit onto your glass mat. I tend to spread, because <laughs> I know what I'm like. Um, and then you could dip it in. So if you don't want to do it on the back of your hands, yeah. don't have to. You can pick it up that way as well. Uh, now, depending on where you want this, and I think I went in the opposite corner, so I'm going to come in and drop it roughly around there. Stick that down. The same with the other one. And I know it looks messy at the minute, but bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Let's just go in and um, add all of that. Might need a bit more glue actually if you are using this glue make sure you clean up afterwards otherwise it will dry and you'll have to wait until you peel it off oh Depends that's on how you like it there, isn't bit satisfying yeah. i know for some uh, but i'm just going to add a little bit into there oh you pesky little things i thought i'd cleaned them out clearly i haven't hmm. actually i'm not going to worry too much about that because i've got a sentiment going over it so where's that cloth gone again because i don't want to have a purple sticky mess everywhere so let's clean all of that bit of housekeeping back of the hand as well um but now once that's stuck down and i'm just going to make sure it's stuck all over take your scissors and just trim off okay and again just other ways that you can use these gorgeous yeah. dies um seriously they are a beautiful set of dies whichever one you're going to use as well um absolutely every single one beautiful they are all lovely designs. and do you know what's lovely about them as well becky and i wonder when you were flicking through those boards mm. i realized there's lots of things in your collection you already own yeah. that you're going to be able to use them Definitely. with the butterflies anything that's got butterflies you can use that butterfly corn regible with anything with like oh the peacock collection mm. that peacock would look beautiful with that one there's so many of your things that you could cross them over into and then that is your two pieces one for the inside, one for the outside. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to die cut the two sentiments. So yeah. I'm going to leave those to one side just for a second. Die cut the two sentiments. And on mine, I've gone with special friend and with love. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen this die before. No, I don't know what all the fuss is they're about. They're really unusual. Can you, what's that one again that you've got there? That one's special friend. That's one with love. With a bit of love. <laughs> From our mini dies. <laughs> I always take the mickey out of you with that, but actually, they always work really well. They and do, such you a see. Good selection of um, new dies. They're really usable. Exactly. And you know, we've got a lovely set. You can check the website out for uh, you know the, the collection that we have of them. There's some really useful ones in there. There's a happy birthday one. Um, there's best wishes, uh, obviously with love and special friend. Um, but there are really, really useful set of mini dies. And why I will continue to use them, Becky, yeah. they sit at the side of my craft desk. I have them at the side of my craft desk. I use them all the time when it's just wanting, if I can't find my stamps, 
I mean, I've got stamps everywhere in my craft room. Sometimes, and I, I, when I'm off at the end of the month, I am yeah. actually going to re-sort that out right. so that I've got all my stamps together. Um, and when I say stamps, all my sentiment stamps together, just to make it a little bit easier to find. Um, how are we doing for time, Becky? I've got 15 minutes left. Oh, I think we're on track, guys. Yeah. I think we're on track. I think we'll be okay. I th I'm with you when you're saying about using stamps. I always think, when I've got to use a stamp, oh, that means I've got to go and get the stamping platform. I've got to get this. I've got to clear that bit. It's a little bit easier just to use a die. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of, no, I don't mind friend on a card. I don't like brother or sister or anything else like that. Um, so a with love sentiment is probably a, as, as far as I'd go. Yeah. You know. And I've often said, because I give a lot of my cards to my friend's charity. Yeah. Um, and I do tend to keep it quite generic yeah. rather than putting on um, sentiments because sometimes, you know, it's not always the right one. Um, and you don't know who's who's taking them. No. So with love is going to go into the inside panel, and lovely. I've cut it out in that lovely cardstock. Some of that spare cardstock I had, so it all kind of ties in with itself. Yeah. Um, and I do like to have a little bit of colour coordination going off, um, using uh, mats and layers to frame things. Um, it's all about it. It goes from, and it's like Liam has told me many times. She's probably said it many times here. It goes from being like. Um, it's real, it's re handmade with love instead of just being, you know, thrown together. Everything works yeah. together. And you've got Homemade all of these. versus handmade. That's isn't the it? one. Yeah. Homemade yeah. versus handmade. Yeah. Um, and it genuinely does. Now, that one's stuck down because that's going to go in the centre. Um, this one, I'm going to stick onto some white cardstock. Now, there's no measurements for this, Becky, but we had a lot of spare whites, um, do you know, from my um, cuts. Yeah. We had a spare, so I'm just going to use one of those and we're just going to trim it down. Okay. Um, there's no measurements required for this. It's just your own personal preference. And the style that I'm going to do is a style that I've been using quite a lot recently. Um, you can use, do they call them tails? Like a banner pen. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. that's that's the kind of look that I'm going to go with. Okay. And um, there's lots of different styles. So it doesn't require any measurements at this point. All you're going to do is make sure your special and your friend are in a line with each other. And I do love this font because it's like a... I like, I like the, the, almost like they've been dangling yeah. off the bottom of the special. Special straight, but the friend is all at different heights. And I love that about yeah. that one. Um, I'm going to bring in my small guillotine for this just to trim this down. So, um, again, no special measurement, but I think this is roughly, looks about one and a quarter inches. Let me just go in a little bit more. But I just like to make sure it's um, even. In fact, Debbie, be careful, you've got your loop. I'm not going to do that, actually. But what I'm going to do is just trim, and I've popped it onto a little bit of a diagonal. Yeah. And just trim that down. Oh, that and, looks good. And creates a little bit yeah. of a, a difference there. I'm going to use some of that um, cardstock again. I wonder if I can squeeze that on. Oh, look at that. Well, like it was made for it. Oh. So I tell you, sometimes you think you waste, <laughs> but it's not waste at no, all. No, not at all. No, not at all. So again, I'm just going to pop that onto there. And because that fits actually perfectly, the only thing I need to do is snip down here. Um, because I swear that was by fluke. Swear that was by fluke, that. And then lastly, the other piece that I'm going to use, um, I wonder if I can get away with it. Oh, my life. Oh, Debbie. I know, all my spare bits, Becky, that's uncanny. Uncanny. I, I reckon you spent hours making sure <laughs> that, you know, using every tiny piece. <laughs> well, we're going to do a little trimming with this, but isn't that, isn't that lovely that you can use your waist yeah. parts um, to do things like framing of your tags or your sentiments or, um, you know, odds and sod pieces. I, I just look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So the only thing left for us to do now, give me a time check. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Well, I can't believe Becky, because the only thing we've got to do now, apart from another little, little bit, which if you remember me saying about the drop shadow, oh, yeah, yeah. It, well, because we've got the time, might as well. Yeah, why not? Might as well, yeah. Now, don't forget, I broke mine. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to uh, give it a little tease because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dotty tape pen on the back of this. Right. So dotty tape pen, 
always a good one to have when it comes to your filigree intricate die cut pieces um, and I'm going to just pop all of that and again Debbie lightly does it anybody else guilty of that Becky do you are you heavy-handed yeah absolutely 100% are you I'm, really I would, rip, I would, rip, would have ripped that apart four thank, or five times over thank goodness it's not just me no, it's not just because you. seriously I've often thought I've got a problem because <laughs> genuinely genuinely do not know my own strength sometimes and oh Debbie had helped to turn I'm the glue I'm with everything you know if I'm making hot chocolate you know I think oh I don't need I don't need a teaspoon I'll just use whatever spoon oh you nearby. don't do you yeah? oh it's a serving spoon never mind um, <laughs> I'm, I'm heavy handed with everything but I think that's a um, thing most people don't realize when they're using that dotty tape and about being a little bit gentle with it yeah um, because it you know you don't you don't want to rip it but I, I probably would have done now I got carried away with myself then I'm thinking I was sticking this panel straight down so we'll put that glue to one side for the second because what we need to do is create the drop shadow effect so I'm just gonna lay it on for a second I'm gonna get myself all stuck up now Becky uh, because I want to position this into place um, so let me see where I can work this out because don't forget I have torn my piece there we go I'll start in this corner I'm gonna just drop it down a fraction I'll get all of that into place and then I'll work out my little um, my little skew with loose pieces that have uh, decided to separate themselves from the die <laughs> I notice I said they separated themselves. Nothing to do with me whatsoever. <laughs> no, not at all. They were just, they were just playing their own little game. But look, they? I think I've a I, think, I think I've done a good enough I job there. Have, yeah. yeah. So now I'm happy with the position. I'm just going to make sure all of those bits are stuck. Going to ignore the fact that I've got some glue on there already because we just need to trim it. And that's why I won't give you a measurement piece for that because um, there's, there's not a lot I could have done about that. But what we're going to do now is bring in that front panel. Now I'm just going to check I've got no glue everywhere. So this is where we're going to sit. And if I just bring in this piece, we're going to sit that onto there. So I need to apply, <laughs> be very careful, Debbie, um, need to apply some more dotty on the back. Now, if you don't want to do the drop shadow, you will have been fine at this stage because you could have just gone straight to uh, that fast forward, that point of um, popping that coloured panel straight directly onto your card. Uh, but reapply the glue. And then we're going to stick that down onto that white panel and it fits perfectly and work from the bottom corner yeah. because we did the quarter of an inch and you can gauge roughly yeah. the quarter of an inch mark and once you're happy with the placement and I'm just going to come in and just hold that down with my cloth there we go because I've got I can see I've got dirty fingerprints absolutely everywhere and I'm going to end up with purple marks along the way and then that piece if I just lift that off is going to then sit into this piece um, with this, I'm not going to gut it because um, it's going to be acting as a panel. So I'm going to keep it as a solid one. So I'm just going to pop that on too. And again, I'm using my all purpose glue onto that panel. There we go. That looks so pretty. I'm just wondering because I'm thinking, just see if I can get them out. Pesky little die cut pieces. You're putting a sentiment there, though. There say. is, but I don't know how far it's going to go up. So I'm just going to try. Let's have a look. No one can see it, Debbie. Oh, no one can see it. I'm wasting my time. <laughs> what you're doing, Debbie? What you're doing? Um, I'm going to bring back in. So let me come in and add these two pieces. So again, we're going to sit that in, and that white frame just makes that pop. Really does. That little bit. Yeah. Don't worry about all these, uh, what I call the ugly bits on the back. It doesn't matter because they're all covered up. No one's going to see them. Again, I'm going to use a bit of glue to place that into, pl into effect. And then the same with this one. Now, this is when this could be taken. You could extract. Yeah. Um, how are we doing for time? Five minutes. Five I probably won't do it with this one, but I'll probably do it with the bigger piece because it's got my favourite paper pad. So... Um, this is this is just um, me just doing this because of the time that we've got left. But that's your two panels. That's the inside panel and that's the front panel all done. Nice. And then we're going to bring in these pieces. So I think I can do it, Becky. I think I can do it. So if you haven't got 
um, a paper trimmer, how could you gut? Right, so if you've got a paper trimmer, yeah. and because you've got your measurements, and I go yeah. over to this side, I'm going to take it up to, um, I think it to the inch, just for speed. And then you've got, on the side, you've got your markings down here. So I yeah. know roughly, that's where my inch mark roughly is. So I'm going yeah. to come down to from one to seven, yeah. and then repeat that. Take it up to the one inch mark, go from seven up to one. Don't worry if you've gone a little bit over it, really doesn't matter. It would only matter if the aperture was showing. Yeah. But because these apertures aren't going to be showing, um, it really doesn't matter if I've gone a little bit over. And if but you haven't got one of these, how would you do it? Knife, craft knife. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you'd get your craft knife and you would do it that way so that you can pretty much save some cardstock. Yeah. So the main base is this one, so we're going to pop that down. Just keep me times um, in check for me, Sam, because I know we're probably approaching the end now so i'm not going to do any more gutting or extracting but you have got a bit more time you don't have to um worry about this stage oh no i can't i can't i can't i'm sorry sorry i'm going to speed bit this bit because i just can't waste that cardstock seriously there's no that way i'm wasting to show that how much we love our paper pads um, especially the botanic i'm yeah. not gonna lie um i adore it and um i need to get more uh, so i'm not wasting that's going to come back home with me because I'll be able to use that for another project. Um, and again, it's not going to do too much. You, you know, we've got quite a bit of construction here. We've got quite a few mats and layers. And it's good to show because we don't want to waste paper. No, um, not, you know. not beautiful patterned no. paper. Just be careful with your glue, not like Debbie is because she's rushing. Actually, though, to be fair... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You go on there. You go on the white frame, girl. You don't go on the purple frame because we want you to pop. There we go. We're uh, uh oh, uh oh. I might have taken too much out. <laughs> we might be putting it back in uh, there, Becky. We might be having to put that back in, or well, it looks really nice as it is, to be honest. Oh, oh look Debbie. at that! It's like I planned it. It's like a well. Shh, this shh, is why shh, you do what you do, Debbie. <sighs> Did you see the sweat then? My <laughs> God. It will literally pouring off me because I'm thinking I've gone too far. I've gone too far. We're absolutely <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Oh, don't we're not getting clever. We're not getting clever now. Let me tell you, we're just going to put all these pieces together and um, finish this craft along because um, I'm really impressed with myself that I've done it in an hour. I did say to Becky before we started, I think I think I might have overstretched everybody. Um, of course, when you're at home, you've got time to take these stages. You don't have to rush like I'm doing. You could be crafting along, though, and you could be... You know, actually, somebody could be ahead of me right now. They could. Because um, I do like to talk. I don't know if you've noticed, but I do like to have a little uh, didn't chat. That. Yeah, and waffle, as my daughters would say. Mum, you do waffle on. That's what they tell me all the time. I mean, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> uh, so that's the fold back done. Yeah. And now to position, because I've got that panel, I know exactly where I need to put the glue and I'm going to turn that over to give myself a little bit of an helping hand. And I am going to use all-purpose glue at this stage, just in case, because I want to line it up. But I'm going to put a good covering on there, pop that down, match it up so that when you fold it back, you've got an even fold back there. And then lastly, and not least by least, whew, We're going to put the sentiment on. Gorgeous. And there you go. Well and I think done. That's beautiful. I think we've just about done <laughs> all of what we needed to do with these gorgeous corner edibles, but used in a slightly different way. And I hope you've enjoyed the craft along. Promise me one thing, when you watch the show and you've crafted along, tag me and Becky into it so we can have a little nosy at how you've done your craft along. Um, because I do, I do like to have a little neb now yeah. and again at what you guys get up to. Uh, but there you go. That's your Fantastic. craft along with the corner edibles. That is amazing. Absolutely fantastic speedy crafting. And this is, of course, using the corner edibles that we've got here. This is nine piece co uh, collection that you've got. Um, platinum price is £64 or $79.20. Um, as Debbie said, we'd love to see what you make with all of the corner edibles. Maybe you're going to be using some different colourways. Maybe you're going to be copying exactly what Debbie does. Whatever you're going to be doing, please do tag us in them so we can have a look at it. And make sure you use that little with love um, die because that's what I want to see on everybody. 
everybody's makes this time. Hope you've enjoyed this craft along and do make sure that you do tune in for all the other craft alongs we've got coming up for you later on this week. Take care, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>